Well, I got a new church sign this week. It says, fear not tomorrow. God is already there. Boy, I tell you what, that's right. Because wherever God is, I am. And if you live in the eternal presence of now, well, you're as close to having no plan for tomorrow as you can get. And that's a good thing. But the eternal, all creator, source being of all things has absolutely nothing to do with time. It's a 3D construct and a matrix that was designed not by him. And I think a lot of people are coming to figure that out. No, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I listen to your website. That's the man that writes the signs. I got to talk to him. Thank you for going to my website. All right, the people just leaving. A little bitty young guy driving the tractor. And he's getting it. Look at it. His wife is a retired school teacher and he does the signs. I had a good conversation with her talking about what I felt like this sign was showing me in the spirit. And um, man, it's really hard to talk about that God has nothing to do with, with this reality, this time, this 3D matrix construct that we are in separation from our loving Father and Creator, Source Being of all things. But that's the facts, and that's what people are waking up to. All the dirty deeds are being shouted from the rooftop. Even things yet to come are showing up in reality to wake us up, to show us that God had nothing to do with this reality, this earth. A lot of people think it's, it's, it's impossible when I say that. But if you really think about it, and you really read the scriptures, you'll see that it's set up that way because we were put, as, put to sleep and we were put under a strong delusion. And that delusion is that, yeah, that's, that's a tough one, boy, when you go to talking about the matrix and, and how it is such a, 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 a delusion to believe that we could actually know anything about this reality, or God for that matter. But what happened was in a short synopsis, the Creator Gods. I was told there was 21 Nephilims. They fell to Earth. Yeah, well, they fell to 3D to a point where they were able to use their Creator God beings, intellect, and maybe whatever, some kind of technology that they used to make this soul trap a reality place for us to be trapped in for eternity. And it's endless until you wake up and you realize that you never die. You never have been born. It's just a, a, a time when you were and then it's a time when you're not. And in that understanding of that, you, you can lay buddy down. You can lay the body down. You can lay all of the hurts and feelings about this reality down because none of it actually in the mind of God matters and, and it needs not to matter in your mind. When it doesn't matter, it can be fixed. But when it matters too much, it, it can't be fixed. And, it, and it, you just end up coming back through the cycle of life and death and not be able to bring memory through death. The key is to be able to bring memory through death Remember who you are, stand up in the I am, and recognize that yes, you're separated from your Father, Mother, God, the source being of all things, but you're breaking the cycle for the whole, for the all, and the unity of the consciousness of the I am awakening in a body, a physical reality where we can change the matrix with our thinking. That's what's happening on so-called planet Earth. It's a deep well when you get to talking about it and you, <laughs> but I love, I love that uh, a simple 
conversation can lead into a world of understanding for not only myself, but for others. So if you don't get me on this, when I say soul trap, it's where the ones that made this reality, this construct, this three dense reality, they also made the afterlife uh, where you go to the light and you, it's just a trap. And so people say, well, what do you do, buddy? What's the, what's the proper way to exit? Well, you stand up in the light that you are. And it tells us in the scriptures that we are the light that, that is the light. And you stand up in that. And when you do look at the light, you realize you don't have to go to the light. You are the light. And when you reach that apex, I'm going to be able to be able to end this cycle for, for the I am that I am, not Buddy Huggins. Buddy Huggins is just a vessel that gets me to the light because this vessel is going to die. And somebody said, well, what do you mean? What are you saying? The only way to get to ascension is to die? And guess what? <laughs> if you can do it any other way uh, and have uh, a rainbow ascension, more power to you. <laughs> but uh, I think it's a little more complicated than all that. It's enough to just have uh, peace in your mind on a daily basis. Look, this is running long. I got to go. <laughs> All right. The other side of this uh, sign is really good, too. So I'll do a video about it later. So, all right. Thanks for watching my videos and leave a comment. Tell me what you think this sign means to you. Thank you. Marcel. Reliable. Okay. Reliable. What year model is it? 19. A 19. They get you a good deal on it? I thought so. Okay. How many miles you got on? I don't know, not many. Not that many, huh? It sure is pretty. Are you waiting on him? You looking at the car? <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Well, I took a picture of a Corvette. Now I took a picture of this really slick looking Jeep. It's, it's he told me it's his daughter's and I said, is she, uh, is she Navy SEAL, Green Beret? <laughs> Cause it's military, it looks, got that look, you know? But uh, no, he said it's his daughter, she really likes it. So let me tell you this, the guy that does the signs for the church, him and his wife are in here right now. So I asked him, could I ask him a couple questions and asked him about how did he come up with the writings for the sign? Was he using Bible scripture or something that had been, you know, said in church? Or, But he told me, he said, no, uh, I'm just turning over pages in a book that has sayings about church signs. And I just pick, pick one I pick. And I said, okay. Well, somebody had asked me in, in the comments that I really needed to know who who was doing the sign writing and talk to them and uh, find out how they were doing it, and that's how they're doing it. So I thought I'd throw that in here at the end of this. I'm at three laps by the... I just don't know. I'm going to go to my turnaround and see how I feel. But I, I might even cut it short again today. The weekend is uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is going to be beautiful. So I may just see if I can get my energy level up by then. Because <laughs> I mean, I, I I just have to be making myself do a, a, another couple of, couple more or something. All right, I'll let you know how it turns out.